William Hill, the home of betting. King George weekend then, it is at Ascot and 350, the big one comes your way. The weather really is the big play here and that's why the call has to be telescope. Uber impressive winner of the Hardwick, wasn't he, at the Royal Meeting when he finally belatedly showed his true colours. That was an uncompetitive renewal but he was confidently backed and he was ridden accordingly by Ryan Moore again in the saddle. Hillstar has since given that form some substance. He was a little bit unlucky behind his stable mate that day but at Newmarket he proved the race was valid. Telescope on ground he craves, ground saving draw, surely going to take all the beating with the race very much run to suit. There are Group 1 performers against him however, and it's with a heavy heart that I oppose to Gruda, the Oaks winner. She was in a completely different league to her rivals that day, but the three-year-olds just have a little to prove at the moment. Rattling fast ground, also something of a concern for her, and why has Gosden entered another two against her? It's a little bit of a confusing puzzle. I don't like Magician for Bally Doyle, and I think Mukadram can probably reverse that Royal Ascot form when they got the tactics all wrong, Paul Anagan sat for too far back. It's surprising he's not tried this mile four before, looking at his run style, and his pedigree and of course he showed his true colours again when winning the Eclipse. Eclipse winners have often run well in this race. He's overpriced at 12 to 1 but get out the lookout for Telescope. <laughs>